Boys, we're only a few days away from UFC Fight Night Moreno versus Al Bazi. And as we've been doing for the past, you know, few fight nights here in UFC pay-per-views, we have a tier list going on. As you can see, we got best, good, mid, bad, and worst. Pretty self-explanatory. But pretty much we're going through every single fight on the card, ranking them where they deserve to go. And there can only be one best and one worst fight on this card. And yeah, I usually show this at the end of the video, but I have to show you guys right now. Quickly look at this. 99% of you guys just watch this for free. Your boy's on that goal to get to 1,000 subscribers, so I'll help your boy out. Let's start this video out. This isn't in any order, completely randomized, but first off, Eamon Zahabi taking on Pedro Munoz. I think this is going to be a fairly good fight, you know? We have... It only sucks because I do think Munoz is on the, the later half of his career. And I do think, you know, as he starts to build up the losses, I think we're going to see a pretty dramatic downfall in his career. But this is a good test for Zahabi. I do think Zahabi gets it done. But a good test, you know, Pedro Munoz is one of the staples in this bantamweight division. But this boy is getting way too old. And I do think once he gets to... You know, a certain point in his career, it's going to start being vicious finishes. But he has shown he's one of the harder guys to finish. I do think this is going to be a good fight, however. And honestly, I think a lot of these a lot of these fights, I said this in my prediction video, but a lot of these fights on this fight night, this card has the potential to be a very fun and exciting fight night. But I do think it's going to fall short, but we'll see as time goes on. Next up, we have two absolutely fat heavyweights taking each other on. And to be honest, ah... It's so hard to find. This might be the worst fight as of right now. It's just two. It might be the worst fight on the card, to be honest. Just two fat heavyweights that are, to be honest, probably skill for skill, the, <laughs> the lowest out of everyone on this card. It's just once you get to heavyweight, you need to. I feel like if you're just a fat guy who's relatively tall, I feel like you could make it into the UFC because the majority of them showed absolutely no skill. If you want to make it to the top 15, you have to have semi, you know, athletic ability. But making it to the top five, probably the hardest thing to do. I think I think getting top 15 is probably the easiest thing to do in the UFC. So just overweight, like middleweights, overweight, light heavyweights, in my opinion. And I just... I'm not very excited for this fight. Let's keep moving down. Arena Del Silva taking on Jasmine Jazuvidius. And you know, it's mid. I think this is probably one of the better better girl fights on this card, to be honest. It's still very mid. But I'm a fan of Arena. I think she's fairly entertaining to watch. Unfortunately, I don't think she gets it done in this fight. But I think it's going to be a, a good fight. Like, again, I said this before. There's so much... This this card has the possibility of being really fun. It also has the possibility of being a stinker. I guess it's only one way to find out. Let's keep moving down. I think this is going to be a good fight as well. I think Brenton Ribeiro gets it done over Machado. But again, I think it's going to be fun. Do I put it at good though? You know, if you guys have been watching the previous tier list I've done for upcoming fights, I'm pretty strict on what I think is good and what I think is bad. So I'll put it top of mid right now. I'm not going to... I'm not going to put in that good section. I have that good section, you know, held up for only actually good fights. I'm not going to give this fight some pity and move it up. I'm not going to do that. Put it at mid. Moving down, another girl fight on this card, which I think is going to be the worst fight, the worst female fight on this card. Jamie Lee taking on Ivana Petrovic. Again, it's so hard to put women fight anything higher than bad. It takes a very certain caliber of women fighters. And these girls are just, they're just mid. But being mid in the grand scheme of things against all these other fights, just playing out bad. Let's move down. We'll keep this one as the best right now. You know, I I don't even know if I can put it. I might just be biased because I'm, I'm a Thug Rose fan. I might be a little bit biased putting her this high up. Uh, I'll keep it. I can't be that biased. I'll keep it here for now. I'll keep it at the tail end of good. I'm not trying to be stupidly biased, but I'll keep it at the trail end of good. This one best for now keyword for now things are definitely going to be switched up once we get through some of these other fights but as of right now zahabi versus pedro munoz is the best but let's keep moving down like this fight the thug rose versus aaron blanchfield the one thing is it's either going to be a you know we're going to see aaron blanchfield show that the men on for off fight was like a was just a complete like off night for her and she just fought like a retard or we're going to see her continue to fight like a retard and Thug Rose piece her up for five rounds. Let's keep moving down though. Mike Malott versus Trevin Giles. I think this one's going to be the best one for right now. I think the crowd is going to help a lot of these fights feel a lot funner than what they actually are. Mike Malott is the Canadian on this fight. Of course, the Canadians are going to be behind him. I think, I said this in my prediction video, I think a lot of these 
Canadian fighters are going to get a huge boost from the fans, you know, cheering for them. I think it's going to give Mike Mulata a huge boost. And I think we're going to see him finish Trevin Giles, to be honest. Let's keep moving down. Battle of the Onks here. We got Chad and Helliger taking on Cody Gibson. It's a pretty mid fight. I don't know if I if I have Thug Rose too high up, to be honest. I mean, it just doesn't look right. Same with Pedro Munoz. It doesn't look right having them in that good section, but we're going to keep them there. Cody Gibson versus Chad and Helliger. Again, Battle of the Unks. Both these guys are pretty old for that division. I think it's going to be a mid fight. Let's go down. I think this is going to be a really fun fight. Pretty much every fight Charles Jordan is in is fairly entertaining gonna put him above Thug Rose and probably above Pedro Munoz the only question is is Victor Henry also gonna make this a fun fight or is Jordan gonna have to carry in that aspect and again Canadian fighter here I think it's gonna help boost up Charles Jordan and hopefully we see a finish I don't know though going up we got Black Beast versus Denise now the question is how highly do I rank this off the personality of Derek Lewis you know out of all the heavyweight fights this one's gonna be the best but I do think Lewis actually does get it done and I'm pretty excited for you know the post fight interview because it's always fun having at the post fight interview I'm excited to see some knockouts I think I put it at the the tail end of I'll put the very the very top of mid because at the end of the day it's still it's either going to be a very boring decision win for Denise or it could be like a first round knockout second third round knockout whatever it's going to be Derek Lewis will get it done by knockout or Denise by a boring decision because that I'll put it at mid but you know having the possibility of a crazy highlight real KO we'll put it at mid I haven't been really impressed with uh, the last few Derek Lewis fights keep moving down Jack Shore versus Yusuf Zalal this is going to be a really fun fight do I think it's going to be better than Mike Malott though I might have to put it there I think Zalal is a very underrated fighter we'll put him at the top of good right now I think I think Mike Mouad is still going to be better just because of the fan base behind him. But this is going to be a sleeper of a fight. If you if you don't plan on watching this fight, if you don't plan on watching those prelims, this is a fight to look out for. And yeah, we got three more to go to. Mark andre Barriou taking on Dustin Stolfovist. Again, I think the Canadian crowd is going to give Mark andre Barriou some, some energy here. And I think we're going to see another finish. And I think he's going to get it done over Dustin. Where do I put him though? I'll probably put him a little bit above Jordan, but practically even. Keep moving down. Sari Sydney versus Jared Armfield. Uh, mid, to be honest. I don't I don't care too much about that. Let's go. Let's finish this off though. We know we have it all down. Right now, the worst fight on this card. We got the two obese heavyweights. Alexander Romanov versus Ricardo Nascimento. Then we got these women fighter. Jamie Lee versus Ivan Petrovic. Then, then women fight right after that. Arena Del Silva versus Jasmine. Then we got a fight that's on that main card. I might have to bump it up slightly more. So that means the next one following that is of course the Chad and Helliger versus Cody Gibson. Then we got Machado versus Benson Ribeiro. Then Sari Sydney, Garrett Armfield. Then of course Derek Lewis, Denise. Then Thug Rose versus Blanchfield. Then Zahabi versus Pedro Munoz, Charles Jordan, Victor Henry, Mark Andre Duaryu versus Dustin, Jack Shore versus Yusuf Zalal, Mike Malott, Trevin Giles, and I think the best fight on this card, of course, Brandon Moreno versus Amir Abazi. And to be honest, yeah, I'm more excited for that main event than any other fight on this card. I think we're gonna see a new rejuvenated Brandon Moreno and I think he's I think he's gonna finish Amir and to be honest I'm not the biggest fan of Amir either but you guys have to let me know in the comments below what do you think of this tier list do you agree with my best do you agree with my worst if not let me know in the comments below once again look at this shit real quick 99% of you guys watch this shit for free your boy's been pumping out that content so once again if you have not yet hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications so you never miss any of these rare matchmaking any of these rare tier lists or rare matchmaking or rare videos in general with all that being said boys there's really not that much else left to say except for i will see you guys in my next video